to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very fun video for you guys. If you guys missed this, I think I did this last year, if I'm not mistaken, but I, I kept going, to, like, we all we all love to toy hunt, right? We go on WWE, AEW action figure toy hunts. Maybe you don't like WWE or AEW figures, but if you, maybe, maybe you stumbled upon this video and, you know, you search for other figures. But anyways, you know when you keep going to Walmart's Targets and every time you go, it's the same selection, like, they just do not buy the figures. The figures just rot on shelves and rot on shelves and rot there forever. They just, pour, they weren't forever. Tito Santana's, the AJ Styles, the Rehos of the world, they just rot there, right? So I had an idea to get away from that and to crush that is to just buy every figure there. If I want more figures to come, if I want new figures to show up at the stores, what better way to do that than to buy everything they have in stock and force them to buy new inventory for us? So around a year ago, I had that bright idea because I had that frustration. The figures were the same every time I went. So I said, you know what? I'm buying everything they have at my local Walmart. I'm going to buy everything they have, and they're going to be forced to restock. And it worked, actually. So, today we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go to the other Walmart. We're not going to keep it at the same Walmart. We're going to go to my Walmart across town just to change it up a little bit. Don't know what... I, I absolutely expect to see the SummerSlam basics. Uh, probably some battle packs like that Matt Riddle, AJ Styles. I could see that being a thing. Some Elite 86 figures. I don't know if they have any Ultimates. There may be some AEW figures that we can find, which would be amazing as well. Unless it's just like six Kushidas or six Rehos or like 800 JK or something like that, we will be okay. But we're gonna go to my Walmart, man. Let's go. Let's head off to Walmart. We're gonna buy every single WWE and AEW action figure that they have. Now, I'm not counting play sets. I'm not counting motorcycles and slam cycles and stuff. It will only be basics, battle packs, ultimates, elites, and AEW figures, period. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead, get in the car, go see what we have there, and I'll see you guys when we get to Walmart. All right, guys, let's see what the damage is going to be today. All right, Brad. Oh, we got some AEW figures over here. Luchasaurus. Got some Series 6 and 5. Ray Phoenix. Got Penta in the house. MJF, Chris Jericho, and Sheeta all coming home with me today, Brad. Got some Elites as well, but no Chase figures, it doesn't seem. Got some Battle Packs in here. One of each kind. You got a couple Elites. A little Chase variant Triple H action. Some basic figures. I'm very thankful there's not 600 of these SummerSlam basics. That would have been freaking terrible. But these Luchasaurus, all these AEW figures, man, we got to get them all loaded up into the cart here. So let's go ahead one by one, man. We're going to take them off the shelf here, and we're going to put them into the cart. That's what we're doing here today, man. We got Penta. We got Phoenix. We got Luchasaurus in the house. We got MJF in the house. So it's going to be cool. I don't know how many of these I'm going to open, though. You know, I, I have zero clue which ones I'm going to open right now, which ones I'm going to do fix-ups with. But we are not returning any of these. These are all going to go right into the collection, whether they're mock, whether they're loose. We do surgery, use them in the pick fed. I mean, we're going to have a bunch of usage out of these. But we got the Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins battle pack in the house. John Morrison and Kofi. Hate the head sculpt on Kofi. Wish they would have went with the rainbow hair. Hate that. You know, absolutely terrible. We got Finn Balor in the house. Solid enough, you know. I, I'm just glad that there's some good stuff here, man. Miz and Rollins, another Rollins to add to the collection. Ridiculous. We got the Chase Triple H, which is cool. I can't believe that one's here and the, the regular's not. Guess people don't know what the chases are. A little bit of Carmella action. Got a couple Roman Reigns, so we do have a one duplicate there, which is surprising. I'm surprised there's not like 60 of that figure and the Silver Surfer. We got the Kane figure. Going to pick up one of those. A uh, little solid Bailey action as well. Jeff Hardy with the bald sides on his head. We got Apollo Crews over here, which I can't stand that figure, but you know what? It's at the Walmart. What do you want me to do, Brad? It's buying everything, not only the things that I want to buy. So we got Silver Surfer Ray, and that is it, man. Again, the Goldberg over there does not count. Nothing up at the top. We got the Slam Cycle that doesn't count as well. AEW Bell doesn't count. Nothing else here doesn't look like. And Goldberg, again, does not count. We're not counting the Masters of the Universe and stuff. So let's go back home and find out what we got. What have I done? What have I done some more? What have I continued to do? Check out that total. All these figures, not a single chase. Not a single chase, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Precious cargo. Lord. Guys, you don't even want to know the total. 
The total is outrageous. Yes, yeah, guess. Make leave your, your guesses. Leave your predictions down in the comment section below what you guys think it was. Guess. I know y'all saw it when it was about 259. So guess what it was after that. The total for this 332.15 and then 365.37 after tax. Basically I won't need that. 400 bucks. I will not be returning anything. They'll either they'll go in the crowd. They'll do whatever. We'll make customs and fix ups and all the things. But uh, yeah. So do these uh, five bags look like 400 dollars to you? No, not at all. Those oh, AEW, the unrivaled, or what? 18, 19 bucks a piece. Then you have the elites that are 17, 18 bucks a piece. So you know we got a we got a ton of them. So. Hopefully, you know, the Walmart will restock with some good stuff. But I was just happy they had some AEW. That was really nice to see and refreshing. But we got some of the battle packs, some elites and stuff. Let's go home and check out everything that we got today in the buy every WWE figure for my Walmart challenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back from Walmart. As you guys can see, all the figures are here. Like, I'm not one of those YouTubers that, you know, pretends to buy everything or whatever. It's it's legitimate, Brad. I have the receipt right here, and it reads, as you guys saw earlier, uh, $365.35. 37 cents, my bad. But long receipt right here. I don't even know if you can see it. Maybe you can I, I don't know. It's it's there somewhere. I'll, I'll try to fix it. Anyways. Let's go ahead and take a look at the selection we got. Uh, I was pretty shocked with what we got. Lots of AEW there. Actually, more AEW there than I thought there would be, so I guess that's a win-win. Let's start things off, guys. Starting out with what we got, we have the Chase Variant Elite 86 Triple H. This is actually a figure that I did not think that, you know, I would ever get. Like, I've seen it at retail actually quite a few times, but I never grabbed it, and I guess this video kind of forced me to get it, so AEW, not AEW, what are you saying? Triple H figure collection is expanding. Next up, guys, we do have some basics. We, I think we got the full SummerSlam basics basic way besides the chase apollo but we did get the bailey and that's pretty sick i like the gear going on kind of a jacksonville jaguars type deal maybe a little bit more blue than we like but i'm not a jags fan i'm actually a steelers fan but it's still fire you know I, I like the bailey figure i'm glad i didn't have to buy like 97 of one figure you know i think we ended up with two romans maybe maybe not but we do have the roman reigns with the t-shirt he'll go right into the crowd you know i don't need the head sculpt or anything so he'll go right into the crowd to thicken it up for, for a pay-per-view show or something like that okay yeah we did end up with two of those so we ended up with two of the Roman Reigns. Not a big deal there. Again, uh, I could always use an extra Roman in the crowd or, or some other scenario. We did get the Elite 86 Miz. Pretty cool figure. I like the white gear a lot. And we could use it for maybe some customs or fix-ups or something. Uh, I'm not going to keep any of these. I don't really keep WWE figures mocked for whatever reason. Unless it's like a special edition or, or something random like that. Keeping an AEW mock collection, as you guys can see back here, has really made me want to start a WWE Elite collection mock. But it's so hard, man. It's so difficult. Especially when you've been collecting collecting loose for so long. Next up, guys, we have the Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins battle pack. I can totally use this head sculpt. Another Drew McIntyre for the crowd. And I like the stands. They're pretty cool. I don't have any space for them, but, you know, it's, it's, it's there. Sit that off to the side. We also have the John Morrison Kofi Kingston battle pack. Really upset about this. I wanted this match in figure form, but I wanted to get the, like, rainbow hair that Kofi had, and they ended up doing it in blonde, so that's pretty crappy. But again, cool white knee pads maybe for a fix-up, and again, a Excessive crowd members. Maybe we can do a head, a head swap with the Kofi or something down the line. I don't know why. I, I was talking like I was. I don't, I don't know what kind of accent that was. But moving on, guys. We do have the probably the most worthless basic that's been released in a minute. You got the Silver Surfer Ray. Uh, not a good figure, but you know what? It was at the it was at the Walmart, man. What did you want me to do? I had to buy it. Had to buy everything, right? I mean, I didn't like every figure we bought. Like honestly, a lot of these I probably wouldn't have purchased if if they weren't there when I did this video. But we got Apollo Cruz. Got the Apollo that looks nothing like. Apollo, which is interesting. Not the Chase variant version, I don't think. I think the Chase variant version is like silver or something, but that's pretty cool there. Got that figure. We also have the Matt Riddle AJ Styles Battle Pack, which I thought about you could possibly put this head sculpt on the Elite 88. I don't know if I like that head sculpt enough, but we have another AJ. It's just uh, um, what have I done, Brad? I paid like 17, 18 bucks for this when I don't even, I didn't even want it. Like, what are we what is this? Next up, guys, we did get my boy Finn Balor. It's the uh, skin tone version of the Demon screaming face from elite 70 i think it was always loved finn balor i could put the knee pads on a fix up or something the head sculpt could go for his thing i'm not big on that head sculpt maybe repaint it or something could fix it but we did get my boy finn balor next up guys we do have another basic and it is going
going to be a basic Jeff Hardy. A lot of people like this head sculpt. It's the same Jeff head sculpt we get every time, right? Except it doesn't have any fade on the hair, which is very weird, honestly. But he's in the hoodie shirt. Again, another crowd member. Another Jeff Hardy fix-up for the future, possibly. And we do have the basic cane. Now, I did want this figure eventually. It has a god-awful head sculpt on it. However, I think I could repaint it, maybe. Or I could do something with it. But nonetheless, we did pick up the god-awful cane. That's a very odd basic series. I know we did a whole video on that series when it released or when it got shown the images. But we have a couple more elites right here. Well, actually, we have a, we have quite a few. We have, we got we got some stuff going on, Brad. We have an Elite 86 Carmella figure. Really nice Elite. I'm actually excited to get another one of these because I figure her parts choices were really nice and I wanted to make some uh, some customs out of her. So we have Carmella and oh my God in heaven, man. Are you are you serious, Brad? I think this makes like, no, I don't even know what number, man. This is outrageous. This is like, I... I think I have seven of this figure or something. I now have seven or eight now, so that's just terrific. Seth Rollins, Elite 86. We'll get some usage out of it for sure. And now we get into the AEW figures. I don't know how many of which I got, but we have the Series 5 Luchasaurus. I already have two of these mocks, so that will make number three, I guess. Unless I open it, it does have some damage right here, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe open it, do a custom paint job or something, or maybe play around with the fix-up since, you know, it kind of got... We didn't like the way that figure released, so... Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, we do have... What else? do we have? We have Ray Phoenix. Pretty good figure right there. I don't have this mock actually, so I'm probably going to keep this one mock. Not a perfect mock figure, but maybe I'll run across another one. Again, I'm trying to complete a full, I want a full set of AEW figures mock, so I'm trying to get them all. Probably need to put them in some defenders or something, but we have Luchasaurus. We have the Ray Phoenix figure. We also have my man Pinta, and this one actually has like a Okay, so it had a random thing on it. It's not repacked. It just had a random sticker on there, which is ugly, but it has a little bit of damage, a little card damage. I don't know if I'll open it again. I may just leave it on ice for a while, you know, put it up there and just see what comes of it. But we did get the Pinta, which is probably, I think I ranked it the number one figure in the set, if I'm not mistaken. Next up, we did get MJF. Now, I did rank this as one of the worst AEW figures they've released just because of how, like, kind of boring it is. But I didn't have this figure mock, and I'm trying to get all of them mock. And this, this, I think Series 6, I had Jericho. I had another one, but I wanted to, you know, add the MJF there because I want the full set mock. So that's pretty cool there to add MJF. How do you not find a chase, man? I still can't find the chase. Next up, guys, we have AEW Series 6 Chris Jericho. Another uh, Jericho to add to the collection there. I think I already have that one mock, but, you know, what's another one? You know, we also got Hikiro Shida, another figure that I'm gonna keep mock. It's actually in really good condition, so that's really nice. You love to see that. And then, last but not least, man, we got a AEW Series number five Adam Hangman Page mock. So I already have one of these mock. I think you guys can see it back there. Yeah, it's back there. But uh, again, I'm hoping that some of these raise in value. Again, like when you go back to look at like Elite Series one through five for WWE Elites, they're always like super high in price nowadays, especially if they're in good condition. So if I sit on these, I pay 18, 19 bucks for them. In the future, I might be able to potentially sell them for a hundred a piece, 150 a piece. Pretty good investment right there. So even if you have to wait on it, and it's not always a about that just having the complete collection is really awesome for me but that pretty much does it for buying every single figure at walmart again i'm not gonna take these back you have my word i'm not gonna take these back you guys will probably see these in some surgery videos coming soon and yeah i don't play that take back bullshit i don't even take back stuff that's messed up let alone gonna take stuff back for that like that's ridiculous anyways guys if you guys wanted to see the full little setup right here here is everything that we purchased four wwe elites one two three four five six seven eight wwe basics three battle packs and then seven AEW unrivaled figures that is going to wrap up this buying everything or buying every single WWE and AEW figure at my Walmart part number two you guys want to see us do this again be sure to let us know leave a comment like the video so that we can get out as much get it out to as many people as possible that way you know we can keep doing these videos but you guys are amazing thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you don't cross the line like my Walmart that had 90 two of that Silver Surfer terrible basic Rey Mysterio. You crossed the line.